right, joining us now, Mark Meckler. He is with the Convention Estates, conventionestates.com, and we've been talking to him a lot, and we've been, obviously, he's been trying to get everybody to sign this to, uh, petition on conventionestates.com. Everyone's asking, well, what do we do? You know, if, if you've got a plot by deep state operators to help Hillary Clinton literally obstruct justice for Hillary Clinton, allow her to continue in a race, allow Hillary Clinton to play, pay for Russian lies, but you only look into Donald Trump, allowing those lies then to be presented to a FISA court to get a FISA uh, application approved so then you can spy on a Trump campaign associate and vis-a-vis -vis through that associate the entire campaign because you want one candidate to win over another, it does make the case that a convention of states would be a pretty good answer because if you look at the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, and all these practices, it ought to make you, you sick to your stomach because they are not following constitutional principles. Uh, Mr. Meckler, welcome back, sir. How is, the, how is this all connected? Well, you know, what we've got, Sean, and you've been doing an incredible job of exposing it, is the deep state is much deeper than any of us ever thought. And it's not going to be rooted out by any one president. I think we've seen conclusively it's not going to be rooted out by Congress that is supposed to be providing the oversight. And the way that all ties together is that, thank goodness, the founders anticipated this. And they gave us a way in Article 5 to go in and put a chokehold on the federal government to restrain it and to push it back in the constitutional box. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, and that is the bottom line. They they have certain limits on them. We have checks and balances. Uh, I think the greatest danger in all of this is if Hillary Clinton has one set of standards and she's not we don't have equal application of the under the law for her. And we don't have equal application under the law because she's friends with these deep state operatives and they cover for her and rig her investigation, allow her to continue. And yet we're able to then use bought and paid for what we now know to be lies to get FISA warrants to spy, by the way, not telling FISA judges the truth, to spy on opposition campaign. I don't think it gets any more unconstitutional or post-constitutional than that. It does, and then, you know, you've covered it, and, and I wish what you said was it, right? But we also have McCabe apparently lying. You have Stroke and Page lying and conspiring to bring down a president to support another presidential candidate. Uh, we obviously have Mueller's all kinds of conflicts of interest in his involvement and potentially in Uranium One. We've got a long-term deep state mess on our hands. One of the most telling things I saw was Schumer, when Trump first started attacking this whole process, Schumer saying openly, look, you know, if you mess with the FBI and the CIA, if, if you mess with the intelligence apparatus, they have seven ways to Sunday to get even with you. That's a pretty scary statement coming from a democratically elected representative. How is the effort going in terms of how many states now have uh, have have come along with convention of states and and in other words and uh, because this comes right out of Article Five of the Constitution where states have the power to call a convention of states to propose amendments and it takes 34 states to call the convention 38 to ratify any amendments where are we now in that process? Well, the people are rising up. There are 3.2 million people involved now, many of them your listeners. Twelve states have passed the resolution so far, so we're over a third of the way there. I have a feeling this week, Sean, we're going to be at number 13, a fortuitous number, because, of, of course, the original 13 colonies. Iowa is literally on the verge. I'm expecting that vote this week. That will take us to 13 states, and there are a couple of more following close behind. Yeah. So all people have to do if they really want to help this in this situation is do what we've been telling them to do, and that is just go to conventionofstates.com and sign up, right? Yeah, I mean, this is the real deal, Sean, because the, the bottom line is you've been exposing all these problems. You've done such an incredible job, and I hear over and over, well, okay, great, it's bad. We know that. Sean's telling us that. The exposure is there. What do we do about it? We're electing people. That doesn't seem to be enough, and the answer is it's not enough. The founders intended that you and I, people like us, would step up and use Article 5 to restrain the deep state. And so that's what they can do. They can go to conventionofstates.com. They can sign the petition. They can get involved in their own state. And we can restrain the federal government. We don't need the permission of Congress or the courts or anybody. All right. Well, I urge our listeners to go there as they have been. Uh, all right, Mark Meckler, thank you, my friend. We appreciate it. And keep us updated. The question facing us and facing our fellow countrymen is a two-word question. Very simply, who decides?
The American founders had a simple answer. We, the people, decide.